Hello and welcome to this assembly tutorial in which we're going to be covering camera settings. So obviously you can see that my field of view has definitely been modified here, but there's way more things in field of view that you need to be concerned about. So some of these things are like the camera track and camera points and uh, things like camera acceleration and deceleration, all those and more. And in this episode, we're going to be looking at some of those things. So let's get started. Go ahead and open up Assembly. And I'm in Forge World, and I have a couple tags open, the Spartans.biped for Warthog.vehicle, and a new tag set that uh, we have not discussed in this series before called Camera Track, abbreviated T-R-A-K. Um, so I have opened up my Spartans uh, biped, and I will show you uh, kind of what a camera track is real quick. If I was to change the default setting here, and you can type in camera, camera tracks, and you'll find it, uh, then I can change how my camera, or how my perspective is of the player. So for something like the Scorpion, uh, the cameras have to be set far and above the Scorpion, because the, the Scorpion is a rather large uh, vehicle and if the camera is too close to the scorpion then you're not going to see anything uh, that is in front of the scorpion or in front of what you're looking at so uh, if a camera is too far away though then the world's going to appear uh, really messed up or you know really small it's just not going to look right so there is a balance so to make a really broad change you can change the camera track and um, you'll see that there is a lot of settings here, um, but I'm looking at the biped turret camera to change that. Now, the thing like for, um, at the Warthog here, what I did was I changed my field of view. And I'm in the Warthog.vehicle tag, I'm about 70% down on the scroll bar, and I changed my field of view, and that was it. I can make it more normal uh, by making it a value that is sorry a lot smaller uh, so this is a lot closer to what the normal value is um, but so you have the field of view which is obviously how much or how little you see and then we have the camera track which I've already explained a little bit so the camera track is basically imagine this sphere around the character or the vehicle that you are uh, using and there are cameras attached to this boundary on the sphere so there's imagine like this grid right and these cameras are positioned and we have the also the orientation so the orientation is not where the camera sits but how it sits is it facing down is it facing up is it inverted uh, all these things are messed with the camera orientation uh, but the camera position is actually where that camera is located. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at camera position within the camera track. So if you will press this little button here, once you've located your camera track, it will take you to the camera track tag for the Spartan uh, biped turret, turret camera tag. And we see a couple things here. I am using a slightly... Um, different build of assembly uh, than I think the public release is uh, or what the, the downloader will download so um, you will see we have one set here and it is called camera points and we also have position and orientation which which I just explained and we also have these variables IJK and then IJKW and this is the orientation of the camera and this is our quarter neon converter and we also had the position. And let's just keep this simple, let's keep this basic, and let's just modify the position. You will see in our set here, we have 15 entries ranging from zero to 14. So the way that the biped, uh, or this biped is set up, is zero is a camera that is at the highest point above the biped, and 14 is at the lowest point uh, right below, uh, or right underneath the biped. So you can see that this right here might be something like camera zero, or this might be camera one. This might be camera 14, and this might be camera 13. If I go left to right, you can see that I am, chang I am changing what I'm looking at, but I'm mostly uh, staying level, uh, although um, 
you will at times, even in this type of circumstance, swap cameras. Now, certain games do this differently. Certain games have one camera, and that camera moves in real time. Um, or they might have a camera for this type mode and a camera for that type mode, and these cameras can shift, or the cameras might be fixed around the movement of the player. And based on where the player is looking, it will alternate between those cameras. Uh, Reach, though, uses a fairly simple system uh, in which all those cameras sit on the sphere that I explained, and we can adjust the position and the orientation. So let's get started. So let's start with our eye. We need to find out what does our eye do. So I'm going to modify cameras 6 and 7, which are just at or above the center line of our, of our cameras that we have to modify. So if I change this setting from negative 0.62 to 6, we should see enough of a radical change to explain what it is that we just did. So I is basically, as you can see, it sets our camera forward, or it can set our camera backwards, behind our player or in front of our player. So you can see that I am shifting here from way back here whoo, to way back there. Now, another thing to keep in mind here is that um, when you modify a certain change, you also are affecting something else. It's uh, this large equation, right? And the more of a radical change we have between two normalized values, then the greater that change is going to be seen, the more visible it's going to be. So it's best to keep certain things constant while you change something else, but let's return this to a much more normal value, to negative 2. And there you go, you still see our player. Alright, but it's not so crazy and not all over the place as I'm shifting from cameras 5, 6, and 7. So like this would be 5, that would be whoop, camera 6, and that'd be camera 7 as I'm uh, on, as I'm ro uh, ugh, maneuvering this camera track. So what does our J do? We've discovered that I is either in um, front of or behind our biped. What does J? Well J is, uh, it shifts the camera left to right, I believe. Yep. So you can see that crosshair is very slightly changing from the center uh, to way back here. Whoa. So that is a pretty big change. All right. So let's do negative 0.5. Okay. So our, keep in mind. Um, We've already changed the depth, but our reticle has also changed pretty significantly here, and it's positioned more to the right. Um, if I was to take these changes, and I was to apply these changes to all the camera tracks, then it would be a lot smoother uh, maneuvering the camera track itself. You, you know, you can see kind of when I uh, was modifying it there, that I got a good bit of frame stutter, which is to be expected. Um, but let's now work on our last uh, system here which is K. So we've looked at the camera being in front of or behind with I. We've looked at J uh, being able to change where the camera is positioned from left to right if we're behind the character. What does K do? Well K is a little bit weird. Uh, K, K manages uh, the how it is positioned above the model. And it also can change. It's kind of weird. It kind of is an understatement. It is weird. Uh, because you'll see that as a reticle moves up, it also moves away. Now, it still works. I mean, it still yeah, is fine. But there are certain circumstances where you won't be able to shoot at what you are intending to shoot due to uh, the terrain. So, obviously, definitely not strategic there. But... Let's see what happens when I set to negative 5. It's now going to be at my feet, or if it can, it's going to try to clip out and go underneath the map here. But anyways, this I, I took these values to an extreme, which they were not meant to do, um, just to kind of show you what they uh, managed. 
So hopefully that was useful for you to see um, with this setting. Oh, you can see if I put it at zero, it wants to put it right, right on top of my visor uh, and helmet. But anyways, so that wraps up the biped uh, editing for the camera setting. So to wrap this up, we have camera tracks, which contain all of our camera points, which includes the position and the orientation of the camera. And for our broad camera settings that will probably have the biggest change with the littlest amount of effort, uh, we can change things like our camera field of view and camera acceleration and deceleration. Camera acceleration and deceleration is basically how long it takes for your camera to move uh, or get to its moving speed and how long it takes for it to slow down. Uh, we also have things like our camera... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Here we can change our camera track um, and this will also be a large change using a preset from something that is already in the game like the Scorpion or the Oni van. Um, so I hope this video has been informative. I know it, it, it's these aren't scripted or anything. It's just I have my bullet points and I try to go down and be concise and not contain any fluff. And so I hope you have found it useful. Uh, you might be looking at another video this Friday uh, or Thursday. So stay tuned for that. If you found it helpful, please like, please subscribe, uh, and even share it with someone you might find useful. Uh, when it comes to this type of tutorial. Thank you again for watching.